Hi, hi everyone. Okay, so what we're making today, as a follow-up to the previous video, is I'm going to make some chocolate and vanilla cupcake soaps topped with chocolate and marshmallows and some chocolate drizzle. Right, so first off, we're starting with my favourite cupcake cases, which are these. You can't find them anywhere now. Um, they were from a company called Zeal, Z-E-A-L. Uh, but they don't do them anymore there are similar ones um, but then then they're lovely but you know when you've got a shape that you like that it's got to be exactly the same shape so I did buy all those other ones from Lakeland and they're all right but I definitely Once prefer these. So that's what we're nights. starting with. And then over here. Other saw Using mob funds we've got our work. oil. Took of Ready to go. To How am I going to do this without you getting in my way? I'm talking about the video shape. camera. But nothing went <clears> Construction bus. Right, see if I can work like that. The casino finally opened, his relationship Switch with this Virginia mob program off that I'm watching. With fights carried out in public. Because you don't want to hear that either. Right, so what we need next is my light. And I always just give my lye water a bit of a whizzle before I add it into my um, oil. I think it depends where you live. Uh, but some lye water gets a bit of a crust on the top and you need to scrape that off before you add it into your soap. Um, this one hasn't got a crust, it's got like a a thin slimy skin it's weird um, but I know a lot of soap makers do get that so we're just going to add that into the soap into the oil and just scrape out every little bit but what you need to make sure is that you're not getting any crunchy bits of lye in your lye water if you have got crunchy bits you need to sieve your lye water um, I think it just all depends on the type of water you have and where you live and and that kind of thing. So we're going to have a bit of a whiz now. So just sorry about that, my battery, well actually I hadn't deleted all the information that was on the camera so the battery ran out straight away. So all I've done here is I've poured uh, 1.1 kilos of soap mix mixture into my jug and I will have to do this one again so you're not going to miss anything. And I'm just mixing all of that in. And then I always scrape right around the bowl. It gets all of the unmixed soap mixed in, which is absolutely necessary if you don't want that. We call it TD fraction, but it's colour fraction or fragrance fraction. And we'll move you over here and we'll start pouring. Now with these I don't fill them right up to the top because they're actually too high for bases for my cupcakes because all my cupcakes have to be round about the same weight. Um, it's just easier that way. I mean yours don't have to be that way. Um, you can do them all different sizes and then charge different prices for each different size. 
which is great if you're just selling retail, you know, on your website or in your shop. But when you're wholesaling, it just makes life a bit easier. Right, so I'm just going to scrape what's in this jug. pop it in there now it didn't actually do quite half of all my cupcake cases it's done 8 19 11 12 13 i still have 17 to do so i'm going to fill my jug up to 1.4 kilos this time hoping that i've got enough soap batter to do the whole thing The great thing with these drugs is that they've got the measurements on the side. And then we're going to put a spoonful of brown oxide in there that much and then we also need some black because I want a darker chocolate colour just wash my hands some chocolate fragrance so we've got a nice dark chocolate dark rich rich dark chocolate base the cupcakes again we mix it around the sides and then pour I think dad will do it and I'll just give him the money because I haven't got the um, phone number in that. Is he on the phone? No. Okay, so now we have all of the cupcake cases filled with the chocolate base yummy 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 and um, it's now time to do the topping so that's the topping in there we've got quite a bit of TD with water I always mix mine with water and I'm going to put all of that in there and I'll just put you back on the tripod. <laughs> oh 
what a palaver, honestly. See the base change into white very quickly. And in this base, I'm going to try, I just hope it doesn't seize because I've never used it before. Shall I get used one that I know doesn't seize? I'm going to be devastated if it seizes, aren't I? It's sort of greeny coloured, so I don't think it will discolour. Well, let's find out, shall we? Please don't seize, please don't seize. Now it's in there, it's really yellow, so it's quite orange, so it could be. At worst, it would probably turn colour. I really don't want that to happen, but if it happens, it happens, doesn't it? So again, even though we're in the pan, I'm just going to stir round the edges and get everything off the bottom of the tin and get it mixed in. See you, Margaret. Thank you. That's it. And I'll have to see you, Keith. Thank you. So we've got the piping bag ready. And I'm going to use a round nozzle end um, for piping with. And all I'm going to do is just wait until this is thick enough. Now, there is no trick to making frosting for cupcakes. Basically, all you have to do is keep stirring not every second you know maybe every minute come back you can leave it for a minute and then come back to it give it a stir because sometimes especially when you make a lot of frosting like i do it can go hard in the middle and soft around the edges if you're just making a small batch you probably won't have that problem the other thing is you know how i put the fragrance in the base first and then the top you don't have to do that if you're making a small batch of soap you can put the fragrance in in the whole batter mix um but i need to split it up i mean obviously this one has a different color bottom to top um but in the old days when i was only making like 15 cupcakes ago um i just used to put the fragrance in the whole thing and then pour the base and then pipe the topping on um but now I can't do that. So yeah, you can give it a stir and then every minute come back and give it another stir until you think it's thick enough to pipe. And hopefully I'll be able to show you that thickness before we pop it in the bag and start frosting on the cake. Show on the, the cakes. Macarons. Yeah, Declan's just made some macarons today. They look so cute. We've tried to make macarons probably three or four times and they were a disaster every time. These ones have come out absolutely perfect. They're gorgeous. I love them. Now we need to make lots of different flavours. Yeah, you'd think macarons were easy to make, but they're not. So, okay, I'll be back in a sec to show you piping. So we're just back for another stir and it's it's not quite ready yet but we could start spooning it into the piping bag. I'm just going to wait another minute so it's probably taken 
five minutes to get to this stage but you're going to find out when now that you're learning to make soap every soap moves at a different speed where this one takes five minutes another could take 10 20 even an hour even two hours to get to where you want it to be it all depends on your recipe how much thick or hard oils you're using it all depends which fragrance you're using because some fragrance can set soap literally in a one second flat others will do it at a slow pace others will do it at a fast pace some will do it at a medium pace and some will do a very very slow pace and this is where all the money comes in when you're learning how to make soap all the experienced soapers that you see have gone through this to get to the stage that we're at now it costs a small fortune to learn to make soap uh, very well shall we say um, I've got a little ways to go yet but I'm getting there but it it really is not a quick easy way to make money and even when you're doing well it's still hard to make good money making soap so if you're wanting to make loads of money then soaping might not be for you okay I'll be back in a tick okay so now that the mixture's ready I've got my piping bag here and it's it's a lovely texture beautiful and so I'm just piping that into my bag now each piping technique that we do I tend to do uh, a few different uh, ways of piping so you just need to plop it down in your bag let let gravity take over and twist it at the top now with this soap we're going to pipe a blob in the center of each one i'm probably going to have to move the camera so we start with a blob like this in the middle this is perfect piping consistency but again when you're making a larger batch the consistency is going to change as you're working it'll get thicker and harder to pipe because of the time but if you make a smaller batch you're going to have a lot less time for error This is going to move at a nice pace which we, sh we should be okay with this one so I'll just pop you there so that you can see what I'm doing then I'll work my way back this way using the round nozzle you tend to need to go at a slower pace well I do when I say you I'm really talking about me and I'm just going to put some more in there With a star tip, again, you, you tend to have a little bit more room for error, so you don't need to go as slowly. We 
we've just filled the bag up again and we're on our way piping again. I need to get a larger SD card for my camera so we can video for a lot longer. And this bag is getting a little bit old now so the soap, the oil from the soap starting to seep through the bag. The coating starts to wear off eventually and that's when the oil starts coming through and again it makes it a little bit more difficult to pipe because your hands start slipping on the bag. Now I'll just do these three and then I'm going to move you over to the other side. And I'm considering myself really lucky so far with this fragrance. If anybody wants to know the bags that I use, it's the PME Premium Icing Bag. P for Peter, M for Mother, E for Edward. And the topping we're going to put on these, if you remember, is the marshmallows that I made in the previous video. And if you're ever interested in buying Eden Secret products, there's always a link in the bottom description box that will take you straight to our website. You know, I think you need three cameras set up really to get proper, proper videos of larger batches or at least two one hovering over your pan and the others hovering over and uh, where you're piping if the battery runs out we'll be back straight back as soon as we possibly can not the battery i'm not talking about the battery i'm talking about when the SD card gets full, it's not the battery going flat. Sometimes it is, but I'm just putting some new gloves on because because the bag's getting piping bag is getting slippy. I just want to start working with dry dry hands again.
I have a feeling the camera wasn't working when I did all these dribbles and started putting the chocolate on the top. Um, I hope that's not the case. If so, I'm really sorry about that. If it is there, then we're in luck. I hope it is. It might just have been the pushing the chocolate pieces in that hasn't videoed. I hadn't pressed the button down hard enough. And I thought the battery had run out, which I thought was strange because I didn't get much on the video. So there, we now have all of our chocolate pieces on and the drizzles and all that's left to do now is put the um, the marshmallows on and I think I'll try and do this by hand instead of on the tripod They do look like little marshmallows, don't they? So it's worked exactly as I'd hoped. And it smells lovely as well. We've got a lovely um, chocolatey base with a vanilla, honey and cinnamon topping that I pray is not going to discolour. It did soak beautifully, which I'm really pleased about. I think the marshmallows just finish it off, don't they? And if I could have worked a little bit faster, then the salt wouldn't, wouldn't be cracking on the top where I'm pushing the marshmallows in. going to work better if I use both hands to do this instead of one on the camera and one on the soap. So
So I don't know if you've got plans for many Christmas products it's that time of year again when we should be trying to get some made. They actually feel like marshmallows because they're still soft. Okay, so I think I'll leave it there for now. I'll finish these few off. They're finished and um, I'll show you them all unmoulded in a minute. Bye for now. So here we are, time to unmould. I don't know what we're gonna call them, chocolate vanilla marshmallow cupcakes. I get a lot of questions about being able to unmould a soap easily like that without it sticking to the sides. Um, and really the secret more or less is water if you use a lot of water in your soap it's going to be very very sticky um, so try water reduction these have got a bit of ash on and it's so funny because I unmolded oh no they're doing it as well I unmolded some others earlier on and there was no ash on them and I'll tell you exactly why I've got ash on them is because I didn't dry the moulds properly before I um, poured the soap. I was in too much of a hurry to get the soap poured out because obviously I wanted to make this video for you. <clears throat> that I didn't let them dry properly. So there we go. I think they've turned out rather cute. I'm going to put a, um, a recipe for soap in the description box below um, just a dead simple recipe that's easily workable but will have a nice decent lather um, if you don't want to use sustainable palm oil if you don't want to use palm oil at all I think soap's better with palm oil in it I just do um, but if you don't have to put palm oil in if you don't want to put palm oil in just substitute the palm oil for your coconut oil and I think a nice easy recipe for people who are learning is a 50-50 50 50% 50, 50 hard oils against 50% liquid oils um, usually works you know it's a foolproof type of recipe the more hard oils you put in the faster your soap is going to set up and the less you put in the hat it takes a lot longer to set um, so yeah it's something I've promised for a long time is a recipe and I've never gotten round to it but there'll be one in the description bo box below so there you go these are our chocolate covered marshmallows chocolate covered marshmallows could it be that or chocolate vanilla and marshmallow unless you want to think up a name. I'll see you very, very soon for the next video. Bye for now.